like to talk about moments. So, when you're on a seesaw, that's you, you want to balance with someone. You don't want this person to be too big. You don't want them to be too small. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Because if you put the small person really far away, maybe they pull more. And if you put the big person really close, doesn't he pull less? So, perhaps, perhaps it doesn't matter. Perhaps you can seesaw with anyone. And let's think about this mathematically. So if the small person with a massive M, and the big person with a massive 3M, and you with a massive 2M, if the big person is sat here, his mass is effectively acting over all of this area, okay? But if, and if the little person is sat here, her mass is acting over all of this, right? Because she's, she's uh, pulling down here, 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 here. All of this is being acted on. Likewise with you, your mass is uh, working over all of this area. And how do we calculate an area? I mean, we're not really thinking about areas, but it's kind of the same thing. We're talking about your force acting over that distance, so it's a bit like an area. How do we calculate an area? we go uh, the x times the y which is the force by the weight if we're going from u to mg which times uh, the distance it's acting over which let's call this distance um, a multiplied by A. And this is called your moment. Okay? And it's in the units um, Okay? Newton meters. Um, so how far away if if you're if A is one meter how far away does the little person need to be to balance you out on the seesaw? Uh, well, let's do some algebra. Let's call this distance x. Wait, I need to... Oh, I didn't make it. Let's do some algebra. 2m. Well, for, f sorry, first, for us to balance, everything that's pulling us this way needs to also be pulling us that way. The same amount. If there's more on this side, then we're going to need more on that side to balance us. Which means that 2m times 1 for this distance must equal m, oh, 2mg, and also mg. Although the, G, the g's cancel out from now. mg times x. We can cancel m, we can cancel g, x equals 2. That makes sense. Half the mass, twice as far away. Likewise, for, 
for the big guy, we're going to get um, two thirds as far. Okay, this all makes sense. And that's where, I mean, that's where M1 stops. That's it. Okay, it's just more complicated versions of this. M2. gets a little bit harder. With M2, we start thinking about what if we start thinking about scenarios in which the forces acting are not perpendicular. So in our seesaw, I mean I was a bit cheeky with the way I drew it, but we actually want a seesaw which is uh, parallel to the floor, so that all the forces acting are um, st straight down or straight up. Okay? And this is the only way we can really calculate moments. We need perpendicular forces, because that's the only thing that's going to pull directly this way or that way. What if our force isn't perpendicular? Let's have a force like this. Well, some of this force is going this way. It's not doing anything. Because this is fixed here. So it's not actually pulling, it's not turning it. But some of the force is going this way. And this is the force that actually matters. This is the force that's turning us in that direction. So if we had a force of F newtons um, and it's one meter away uh, and this angle here is 30 degrees, then all we do is resolve our force F sine 30 times 1 equals the moment around A, around our pivot. Lovely. Which is, by the way, F over 2. Um, and that's where M2 stops. M2, th that's where the maths, that's where the new learning in M2 stops. You get complicated scenarios, such as something on a wall, with, you know, it has its mass acting here, and the pivot here, and the pivot here. Well, going the other way. Or, you might get, I mean, you'll get all sorts of stuff. But the key is, perpendicular forces turn things. Those four words, you'll be fine. In M1, just remember about the distance and the force multiplied together like an area to make a um, to make a moment. And that was a moment on moments.